I'm Patty Hamilton with the Bangor Public Health Department. By now, following the news or from your own personal experience, you've probably recognized that our state and nation are in the midst of an opioid epidemic. This is a crisis for us. 418 Mainers died in 2017. These are our family, friends, neighbors, aunts, uncles, and children. Opioids include things such as heroin. They also include prescription drugs like Oxycontin, Vicodin, or Percocet. It is possible to overdose on either illegal drugs or prescription drugs. Knowing what to do when an overdose happens can help save a life. We've created this short video to give you the tools to identify the signs and symptoms and know how to respond to an opioid overdose. If someone is overdosing on opioids, you may notice they're making gasping sounds, they're not breathing or having trouble breathing, they have blue or gray skin, lips, or fingernails, they have pinpoint or very small pupils. If you think someone is overdosing, try yelling to them or shaking them. Hey, are you okay? They are unresponsive to yelling or touch, try giving a sternal rub. To give a sternal rub, take your knuckles and rub firmly on their breast bone or under their nose. If they don't respond, call 911 right away. An opioid overdose is a medical emergency. Trained medical staff must arrive on the scene as quickly as possible. Tell them someone is not breathing and is non-responsive. Helping someone breathe is an important step. This is done until a person can breathe on their own. Check mouth and throat to make sure airway is clear. Place one hand on the person's chin. Tilt the head back and pinch the nose closed. Place your mouth over the person's mouth to make a seal and give two slow breaths. Watch for the person's chest, but not the stomach, to rise. Follow up with one breath every five seconds. Naloxone is medicine that has been used by medical personnel for decades to reverse opioid overdoses. To give naloxone, lay the person on their back. Prepare the naloxone. Give the person naloxone. If using Narcan, which is a specific brand of naloxone, place your thumb on the plunger and a finger on either side of the nozzle. Generally insert the tip into the person's nostril. Press the plunger firmly, spraying the contents into the nose. Hey. 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 What happened? You had an opioid overdose. Once a person is re revived, they still need help. They may be confused or agitated. They may be withdrawing from the opioids. Withdrawal symptoms are uncomfortable but not life-threatening. Opioid withdrawal symptoms include body aches, nausea or vomiting, sweating, irritability, opioid craving. I've called 911. Help's on the way. Once the person is breathing on their own, place them in the recovery position. Make sure the person is on their side. Place their hand under the chin. Bend the knee against the ground. Tilt the head back to open the airway. If you are ever in a position where you think someone is overdosing, look for symptoms, blue lips or fingernails, little to no breathing, don't respond to yelling or touch. Call 911, tell them someone is not breathing and are unresponsive. Give naloxone. Give second dose after two or three minutes if the person is not breathing on their own. Provide rescue breaths or CPR if necessary. And monitor the person's response. They should accept medical attention. Wait with them for help to arrive. 